Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Mad Trippin'. Today we're going to my local Super Target to check and see if they have their Halloween decor out. Today is Thursday, September 7th, 2023. It is 2.30 p.m. and still 103 degrees. When will this heat end? Are you ready? Let's start tripping. You can see that they have some beautiful fall decor out. I love these skulls right here. Check those out. Very cool. Some black ones over here. That's what I like about Target. They have a better selection of these are actually candles. Wow. Got a witch's brew. Skeleton skull. But they have a wide selection of beautiful fall decor to put out. And goes over to this wall over here. I like these candle jars here. Very nice, very nice. Oh, these are some beautiful glass pumpkins here. They have some very nice fall decor here. Always gotta check out the Lego aisle. Target has two aisles for Legos. Kind of an advanced aisle and then a regular aisle. But always have to check out the Legos before we head to the Halloween aisle here and I can see from the distance they do have the Halloween stuff set up so we're looking good. One of my favorites is Harry Potter Legos. They do have plenty here. Love the display cases they have at Target for Legos. We just bought this one here and I recommend it. It's a beautiful set. Princess Leia's Bounty Hunter mask. Very cool. We have these masks here. Very cool. Oh, that indoor set right there. I don't have the money to start collecting a bunch of Star Wars Legos. <laughs> Alright, let's go take a look around. Let's go take a look at the Halloween stuff. All right, you can see the back of the store is where they have all their Halloween stuff. First out, we're going to walk down here. There's plenty of costumes. Check that out. They are definitely making sure they're in the game this year to compete. Plenty of costumes for anything that you can probably imagine from Minions to Transformers, DC, Wonder Woman, Supergirl, Batman, Batgirl, over to... Marvel with Iron Man, the Hulk, Captain America, Ghost Spider, look at that, oh my gosh, they just, they got everything, oh look at that, Captain America shield, too cool, too cool, then on the other side, we got some Pokemon, for adults and kids, Minecraft, still popular, Oh, look at that NASA spacesuit. That is cool. SWAT, Army, Fireman. That's not a Fireman wall. They have some more costumes. Some Halloween pillows. Oh, some pretty cool looking inflatables. More costumes. Check this out. Costumes here. Oh, those are pet costumes. Cool. Nice. Some mini mouse costumes. Star Wars costumes, the Mandalorian, what? Darth Vader, Stormtroopers. Oh, look at Grogu. Grogu. And down this one are some more costumes. Plenty of costumes. In this aisle, they have even more costumes with Descendants 3. Hide and Eek, witches costumes, princess costumes, fairy costumes, mermaid costumes. I see a try me button, so how can I pass that up? Oh, look at that, the headband lights up. That is too cool. I'm hoping to see more costumes and uh, animatronics go digital. Oh, look at that street sign right there. 
That is too cool. Spooky Street, Reaper Road, Boo Boulevard. $75 for that street sign there. That's pretty cool. Ninja Turtle costumes. Disney villains costumes. Makeup, wigs, eyelashes. Got some stuff. Oh, look at that animatronic right there. Check out the skeletons. That snake skeleton. That's still popular. That's been going on for a couple years now. You get a gold one. Light skeletons. Those will look great in the black light. Look at this bat. That is too cool. We'll have that hanging up in the ceiling with a black light on it. That would be very cool. Some skulls. Let's move over to the inflatables. brand is Hide and Eek. I love that name for their uh, Halloween stuff. Look at the spooky spider here. Very cool. It's a night for all to play. For ghouls and goblins to dance away. I fear nothing night or day except a strong breeze to make me sway. <laughs> Right here, they have some hanging lighted uh, little scare creatures here. A skeleton, witch, ghost, and a pumpkin. Ooh, hide and eek floating ghost. That looks pretty cool. Then the yard stakes here. I love these yard stakes. These are pretty cool. The hands, the feet, the witch's hands, witch's feet, skeleton legs and hands. Very cool. Look at these Funko masks. These are very cool. You got Sally and Jack, Batman, Catwoman, Sonic, Harry Potter, and I'm guessing that's... Oh, that's Buddy the Elf. I was gonna, I was gonna say Ron Weasley. Mm. Over here we have some smaller skeletons, which I like to add a skeleton to my collection every year. Look at the wiener dog one. Oh, my nephew's gonna like that one. Got a wiener dog skeleton right there. Some skulls down here, like candy jars. Pretty cool. I like that wiener dog one. That is cool. And we have the tall skeletons up here, gold. Light. Again, these will look great in the black light right there. Ooh, then on this side, now this is a newer one, an orange pumpkin head skeleton. I like that. 40 bucks, not bad. Oh, very cool. Now that is a very cool animatronic skeleton right there. $150. That's one of the better animatronics that I've seen right there. His eyes light up. I wish they were digitalized. That would have been so cool. Of course, it would have been more money. But his arms move, his head turns, and his jaw goes up and down. Let's try one more.
That is too cool. I am impressed with that one right there with the arms and the head that moves like that. This guy just jangles in the cage. It looks like somebody ripped off his button already. But those are very cool. I seen those last year. These guys, I'm guessing the eyes light up. Is that a try me button on it? Oh, it is. We're gonna have to try it out. $45 for that one, not bad at all. It has that eerie green glow to it. How cool is that? Uh, this one does not have a try me button on it. Just the tag. Doesn't look like he glows, but you could definitely put some type of a light inside that head, but that was cool. I love that green LED glow it has to it. Okay, we covered that one more. Ninja Turtle costumes, but look on this side. A little Harry Potter end cap here. Ooh, the Death Eater mask, is that right? Yes, Death Eaters. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. With some Harry Potter wands, the ties. Very cool costumes. Over here we have some gravestones, they're always good. Ooh, look at these big gravestones here. Now these are cool, 20 bucks a piece. I might have to get one of those this year. Then we have some blow molds, something to try out. Oh, plants, do the plants move? Tell me the plants move. Oh, that is a very cool $35 Venus fly trap right there. plant right here. And then look at this plant right here. Got little bulbs that are alive and how cool is that? And they got one of those flying ghosts hanging up on top there. Look at that. It's huge. Definitely creepy looking. Now right, let's check out this blow mold. Very nice. This one up here also lights up. You can kind of see it in the lighting here. I have to put that in a dark area. Oh, look at this plant. Eyeballs in it. That is too cool. Oh, if they, if they blinked, you'd have had me. I'd be putting it in the basket right now. Another blow mold. This one's kind of a dark. Oh, yeah, there we go. With lights and sounds, I like it. This one looks pretty cool too. Let's see what Anne Chanted does. I like the name, just lights up. Green and orange, oh, good lighting though. Anne Chanted, I do like that name. Oh, look at these evil garden gnomes. How cool <laughs> looking are these? Do they just light up? Yeah, his eyes just light up. Very cool though. Some more gravestones and fencing down there. One of my favorite parts of Halloween are the pumpkins. Oh, look at this one. That's a good one there. Ooh, but the spookier, the better. That's a nice spooky pumpkin right there. Bigger one down here. Looks like they've already sold a couple. Got cobwebs, the uh, old-fashioned kind, and then the material kind right here. Got a little cap just for spiders. Look at that. Spiders, head skulls, bats. I like that orange and black spider right there. That's very cool looking. So continuing on the back wall, we have some bluey, which is misplaced right there. You can see bluey out there in the front, but some lighting. Oh, look at this one. This is cool. Look at that projector. Looks like the spider is moving down the wall. Got some other projectors here and then some lighting. Oh. Christmas lighting is starting to sneak out a little bit here. Looks like we're adding some color to Halloween this year. I actually think that's kind of cool. Some of the colors don't go, but the purple and the green, yeah, I like it. Oh, here we go, some signage, some crystal balls. Ooh, I like that right there. Some water globes. There's that telephone. I think they had this last year. Let's find out. Oh, the 
the grave. Do you accept? projector came on on its own. You can see it's projecting images onto the wall there. I love these globes. I have one like this at home. If it gets foggy, yes it does. Look, it'll start spinning, getting nice and foggy. Yeah, here comes a little fog in there. Ooh, and changes colors. Ooh, look at that. It looks like a spectrum in there. That is too cool. There they have some skulls, some pumpkins, trees, but look at that. I love this aisle right here. Oh, one of these doorbells. My brother's wife got me for this a couple years ago. It's very loud if this is the same one. Volume's turned down on this one. How cool is that? $35. Just like a regular mirror can't see anything on it that is too cool you gotta remove that film so you get a better reflection of yourself in it which yeah you would definitely get a nice reflection there that is very cool yeah that's worth it okay, over on the other side we have more decorative halloween decor here a little more modern, some more pumpkins. Uh, look at this trick or treat lamp. Oh, lo and behold, we have a try me button. More decor. Look at the puppy. Puppy's got a try me button on it. We gotta try it. Trees, little house decor, a ghost, the try me button? No, no try me button. Uh, but we do have this, and it's got a try me button on it. So it's two skeletons on a teeter totter. How cool is that? And there's a couple more aisles here. We're going to get into the snacks. Hopefully, they have Halloween themed snacks. I love when they do that. Over here, we have some Halloween themed games this aisle. Plenty of plates and cups and stuff. Some more gravestones. And then these aisles over here to my right are going to be the themed candy, cookies, chips, stuff like that. Snacks. Here's a nice little ink cap here for the Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, look at that pumpkin. That is too cool, Jack Skeleton Pumpkin. And some plushies, pillows. Oh, look at the little silver. Plenty of candy. Do, 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 do. Candy, 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 more candy, 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 candy. And look, when you turn over here, more candy. More candy, yay! Got a lot of candy this year. Let's see what they have as far as the themed treats go. Besides candy, gummy food, okay, but this is just more candy. More candy. Oh, look, ring pop. There we go. 
I like when the individual bags, like if they sell a bunch of little bags of chips in one big box, that each little bag has Halloween themed designs on it. It makes it nice when you're putting them into the um, gift bags or what I call them mad bags. See, like that is cool. Look, those are all themed towards Halloween in there. Little Pez dispensers, I like it. Those are definitely new. Oscar Mayer Wieners. Rabby Patty, see the box is themed, but is each little individual packet themed? I can't tell. It'd be cool if it was, though. Let's see, I like this Reese's shape of the pumpkin. I like that. Here's what I mean. They got the chips. Yeah, see, the chips are even themed. I like that. Yeah, see, the bags are themed inside the box. I like that. That makes it great. When you, you know, when you're a kid and you open up that little uh, grab bag, or um, I call them mad bags, or a little gift bag, and they have a bunch of little themed items in there, like, you know, Dracula teeth, little toys, little things that they can use. And then they open up a bag of chips, and it's themed. Uh, the soda cans that I had for a couple years with the a and uh, they had little Halloween theming on the uh, cans itself. I think that's cool. See the Oreos right there? Even the top of the Oreo cookie is themed. I love it. I love it when they do that. I'm sure kids do too. I'm sure they find that fun. I definitely would have as a kid. I would have loved it. See, like this right here, we go. Look at that. Pure Life water bottles. The water bottles each have a little design on there, so you can throw that in one of those little gift bags. And when they pull it out, it's got a little design on it. I love it. Oh, Liquid Death. Even going for the adults here. Check that out. Liquid Death. Oh, the planners doesn't. Those are just regular chips and stuff. More plates. And baking utensil type stuff. Books. Yeah, there you go. Coloring books. Named to Halloween. I like it. Look at that Oogie Boogie pumpkin. Very cool. All right. Over on this side that we missed. Somebody was coming down the aisle. More Halloween plates. Look at that serving tray down there. A Ouija port serving tray. I love it. Got like napkin holders made out of hands. Cookie jars. Oh, I love this Halloween season. Very cool stuff for your party if you're having a big party look at the jars for the candy little buckets for bobbing for apples maybe people still do, still do that on Halloween bob for apples look at this wreath 20 bucks very cool looking and all types of pumpkin carving stuff and then the gift bag stuffers I used to love this I haven't done the gift bags and this will be my second year not doing the gift bags but here are the bags I like to get them a little bit bigger than that one that one's not too bad there right there about that size because i used to like to fit dvds in them that's about the right size i had bags that perfectly fit a dvd in there and i'd get them for two or three dollars at target i don't see the dvds anymore but they were halloween themed cartoons and stuff like that i'd put i only did 30 bags for the neighbors and another maybe 20 bags for the uh, kids so it was about 50 bags total so each bag costing around five bucks five to ten bucks i'm guessing but see like you can borrow those buy these party favors with the teeth and then the bubbles the balls and all themed towards halloween necklaces actually i got some pretty cool stuff you know for three bucks and you get what six in that one no five in that one i can't tell pencils yeah so you get eight bubble wands in there some spiders pencils snakes skeletons erasers teeth and fingers and I used to put like one finger in a bag one set of teeth one eraser maybe a pencil or two this year they got some slime some different types of fingers I actually missed doing those mad bags Ooh, little skateboards I did that one year see that's what I mean that's pretty cool can you imagine that getting that at somebody's house for Halloween you, instead of getting just some candy you get a little gift bag and when you get home and it open up it's got all this stuff inside there that you're gonna throw away in a couple of days but you know <laughs> you enjoyed it that night right and on the front end caps, we have some more trick-or-treating baskets, Halloween carving stuff, some more pillows, little ghost, some gravestones and signs. So Target has definitely gone all out this year. They could use some more animatronics. They usually only have one or two a year. That looks like the one they're going to have this year. They only had the one, I think, last year for the big, tall animatronics. If you want the big, tall animatronics, you definitely need to go to Lowe's or... Home Depot. Home Depot, I think so far, has the big
better selection and of course spirit halloween store which we haven't gotten to yet it was closed when i went down there last week and try to go uh, maybe this weekend and check it out uh, they have some good animatronics but so far the best ones that i've seen since i've been out are lowe's and home depot if you want the tall animatronics or even the inflatables target has some they're limited and walmart has a little bit more but i definitely think that home depot and lowe's has the better selection for animatronics and inflatables until we go check out spirit halloween store one of the things I like about Target is they make sure they highlight that they have uh, seasonal books for sale for kids. So here we have some Halloween books for sale. And a good, good selection too. I like that. Definitely adds to the fun when you can read some ghost stories. Not a lot, but they have some, some DVDs out here. Scooby-Doo's. It's a great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. They had some $5 ones that look like they are gone. But that'll do it for this episode, Mad Troopers. Thanks for watching. You are so greatly appreciated. Have a great rest of your day and a better tomorrow. Please click that subscribe button, trip over that like button, and remember, never stop tripping.